what's up i am hopping on here to tell you guys about a new company that i'm working with i am so excited it's a vegan non-toxic beauty brand they have hair care skin care and wellness so i just got my first box of stuff comes in the cutest box says we are modern nature so i just wanted to bring you guys along with my unboxing so let's see all the goodies that i got okay let's see what we are working with it looks like we got some cards that tell you about the products that are in the box. Ooh, see, one thing about me is anything that can come in a bag, I want. I once bought some products from this website called Lively because it said I could get a free toe with it. And when I ordered a swimsuit off of another website and it came with a wet bag, like that made me almost just as excited as the swimsuit itself. But this looks like some samples. I'll tell you guys what some of the samples are. Restore leave-in conditioner, age control nectar, which is what one of these things was just about. So maybe these match up with what's in here so that I can tell people about it. What's another one? Be Bounced Foam and Cleanser. Yep, I'm seeing a trend. And the shampoo. Cool. What's this? This feels like, yep. This is all the things I need to know to be a good brand rep for you guys so that I can give you all the information and get your hair looking right. Another bag. Ooh, this one feels like it has stuff in there. Ooh, dry shampoo. Some Rejuva beads. Oh my gosh. So I saw this on someone's Instagram and it worked magic. I am so excited to mend my ends with this and see how much sleeker my hair looks after using this. Restore leave-in conditioner. I'm sure you've seen my hair. So much curly hair. So I'm always in need of leave-in conditioner on top of my regular conditioner. So this is going to be so good to use. And renew shampoo. A hair lasts so long. Like a little really does go a long way. And I always run out of shampoo and conditioner really fast because of the amount of hair and how thick my hair is. So I cannot wait to see how long this bottle lasts. The only thing that wasn't in this bag is con like conditioner to actually wash my hair with, and I will be getting that soon. So now on to beauty products. This one is the Be Balance Foaming Cleanser. I love to clean my face. Like I love my face. <laughs> I clean my face like three times when I have makeup on, three times in the night before going to bed when I have makeup on because I just like to make sure that my face is absolutely clean. So. I can't wait to try this. I'm gonna probably try it today even though I'm not wearing makeup. Next thing is Be Bounce Lightweight Moisturizer. That's another thing that I'm really big on is after I clean it, I moisturize it with multiple things. So this will definitely slide into my routine very seamlessly. And last but certainly not least is the Makeup Vanishing Balm. <laughs> Maybe when I use this, I won't feel compelled to clean my face five times. So, I can't wait to wear makeup so I can actually try this. I might sneak and try it today just for kicks. But, so it looks like my new routine is going to be this. And then the cleanser, the foaming cleanser. And then the moisturizer. I am going to use these. I mean, obviously I'm going to use them all the time. But... I think I'm gonna use these for a little bit and then report back to you guys and see how much I love the products. I'm sure I will have nothing but good things to say. And I'm actually gonna wash my hair today, so using these products ASAP. Ah! I need more hands. Well, maybe not the dry shampoo today, but definitely using these today. So I will report back and let you guys know what I thought. 
Hello beautiful people. So it is a new day, hence why I am wearing a different outfit. Um, I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys a before picture or before video of my hair. And I'm about to go wash my hair with my new Monet products. I wanted to use the shampoo. Let me get it out. I want to use the shampoo, the leave-in conditioner, and the Rejuva beads on my ends. I don't have conditioner still, but I really wanted to test everything out since I have it in front of me. So we're gonna see how this combination of things do. And then whenever I get conditioner, then obviously I'll do shampoo and conditioner together and see how that does. Hey guys, so I was just gonna come back to you with my hair wash, but I decided to do like a little mini tutorial since it's my first time doing it, so like we can kind of do it together. So the shampoo says to emulsify in hands comment below if you know what that word means because I sure don't but most of my hands I'm, I'm assuming it just means rubbing your hands sorry if you hear jets in the background living on base life emulsifying hands for and apply to wet hair leave on for two to three minutes rinse and repeat for optimal results follow with the replenishing mask don't have the mask but I am going to emulsify or do what I think is emulsifying in my hands Tip, take the top off before you start. <laughs> no wonder it wasn't coming out. So let me emulsify my hands. I'm gonna do less than I would normally do just to see how far it'll go. It's already more than my regular shampoo would, to be honest. Like, my roots are covered with this stuff now. So now I would part it two sides, do the same amount. And wow, I was about to go grab more, but then when I stopped doing this, I actually like heard the bubbles. Guys, I can never run my fingers through my hair with just shampoo in it. I'm not going to lie to you. My hair normally has to be drenched in conditioner specifically. Like the fact that I'm running my fingers through my hair so easily right now, I'm genuinely impressed. Like I always hear people talk about these products, but now that I'm trying them for myself, it's really exciting to see that the hype is real. The hype is real. All right, next side. Same amount. This side, does anyone else have a side of their head that gives them more trouble than the other? Because this side is always more tangled for me. I don't know why. I mean, still, I'm, be I'm able to run my fingers through my hair and get the knots out, but it's always this side. Ow, okay. That was a big knot. I'm so excited. Cause my hair already looks so good. And feels so different. Like, like I said, the fact that I can run my fingers through my hair with shampoo only is a huge deal. And living in Alaska, I find it even more difficult to take care of my hair. rinse this out and come back just kidding going to wait two to three minutes like it said and then rinse it out so I think I'm just gonna stimulate my spine or my spine <laughs> stimulate my scalp you guys don't want to watch me for two to three minutes I'll be back so I wasn't going to shampoo my hair twice, even though it literally says on the bottle to repeat, but I washed my hair out 
and I was looking in the tub and I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many suds, even though I barely used any. And then I saw that the suds were kind of dirty. Um, so I decided to do it a second time and I'm letting it sit for another two or three minutes. I actually used less this time though. I used, the first time I went deeper into like very specific sections like you guys saw this time, I just did one little amount. I should have done it on camera, but one little amount in my hand and did it all over. And it did cover all over my head. And I feel like when shampoo or even conditioner um, is able to go over all of my hair when I use less, it's because my hair is cleaner. So I think the second time is going to work out a lot better. So I'm going to edit some of this video while I'm waiting the two to three minutes. And then I'll report back when I am putting in the leave-in conditioner, which I'm so excited about, guys. All right, my hair is washed. Um, my tub is clean, since like I said before, it was dirty suds. I tend to rinse my hair out with warm or slightly less than warm, like kind of has a little bit of coolness to it, water, because hot water just makes your hair even more dry. So that's what I do. Um, now that I've done that, I'm gonna put this down me. I'm going to do the leave-in conditioner. Yeah, so let's read the instructions on this. Apply evenly to wet, towel-dried, or dry hair. Comb through and style as usual. I don't know if I'm going to comb it, because I don't comb my hair when it's not drenched, like I said. But... I wonder how much I should use. We're going to use, we're gonna start off with a little bit and then I'm doing, I know it sounds like I'm doing a lot of pops but it's cause it's like not coming out. So one, two, three. We'll do three. That feels like that's not gonna be nearly enough. But I just did my hair into a fourth and I'm going to evenly distribute it. I feel that I need more. I just did four more pumps. And I'm not really gonna focus too much on my ends only because I'm gonna come in with the Rejuva Bee next. On to the next part of my hair. This feels really light in my hand. Um, so I'm interested to see how my hair feels once it's dry. Cause that's really the test when it comes to leave-in conditioner is waiting till my hair is dry. Sounds like I'm pumping so much, but the bottle just, it's like not getting air. So it's kind of struggling. So I think what I'm gonna do is do sections and then like how I'm doing this half of my hair right now, I'm gonna do the two sections and then do them together. Put more moisturizer in my hand and then just rub it evenly throughout this whole half of my head. So now that I've done the quarters, I will do the half and then get underneath. Now the side. We're experimenting. I don't actually know how many pumps I need. Doesn't feel like I put anything on my hair, but I'm sure that is a part of the whole deal. Is it supposed to feel super light? Cause my hair's already thick, so I can appreciate it be it being lightweight as long as it works. And then I feel like the back of your head is like the part of your head that you really like neglect. So I just put some pumps and now I'm doing it like right here. So now that I've done the leave-in conditioner, it is on to the Rejuva bead. Let's read this one. Apply to mid section and ends of clean towel dried hair. Wait one minute, style as usual. Four pumps, and I'm gonna 
to the edges, the ends of my hair. I, like I said earlier, I saw this stuff work magic. Ah, bam! <laughs> my hair is complete. It feels so soft, so lightweight. The curls are popping. I mean, loving it so far. I will continue to let you guys know about products and how I love them as my journey with May moves on. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell. Bye guys. <laughs>